ever wondered why, up until now, even though Boruto is sharing his body with Momoshiki, he hasn't unlocked any of his abilities yet. There's this theory that says that there could actually be a possibility of Momoshiki being Shiba Otsutsuki and the reasoning behind this theory is actually mind-blowing to think of. And in a recent chapter of Boruto, it was stated that Otsutsukis who could turn into gods can actually manipulate the minds of people. And in episode 65, Momoshiki referenced himself as the god and Boruto to some extent when he is in the stage of Momoshiki taking over his body, if you look closely he does look like Shibai Otsutsuki. Is this coincidence or no? That's what we would find out in today's video. Before we get started, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing content on the Naruto and Boruto universe. The very first question that we ask ourselves is, how on earth was it possible for Momoshiki's spirit to be able to grant Boruto the karma? And why was the Jogan activated the entire time during the whole spectacle? Now, what if I told you that the Momoshiki in question who gave Boruto the karma is actually Shibai Otsutsuki in disguise? Also, if you look at Boruto's design while using the karma, his horn closely resembles that of Shibai Otsutsuki. Unlike Kawaki's whose design resembles that of Ishiki, and Boruto only grows one horn and this horn grows over Boruto's right eye which has the ability to showcase the Jogan. When we actually try to reason about this, we see that the Jogan is actually also linked to Shibai Otsutsuki and not Momoshiki. We literally saw this in chapter 55 of the manga and it's very much likely that the god that was shown to us in this chapter was Shibai Otsutsuki and it's most likely that this was Shibai's final form. And when we closely examine the manga panel in which we assume to see Shibai, we see that he had over 3 joguns on his body and also had a golden eye in his forehead. There have been speculations that the jogun is actually the original dojutsu before every other dojutsu came into being. It would actually make sense that all dojutsus would end up becoming a jogan if a person wants to evolve to being a god. It was also mentioned by Amado and Momoshiki that Shibai actually at some point abandoned his physical body because he transcended into a higher plane of existence and this information most likely is a reliable one. Indeed, looking back at chapter 75, the physical body of Shibai we see is most likely the one that has been abandoned and the design we see in chapter 55 is most likely his godlike state. And it's most likely that all of the original eye he possessed that were either Byakugan or Rinnegan ended up turning to Jogan after he became a god. And since Shibai has an excess amount of Jogan, he then decided to give Boruto one through Toneri Otsutsuki. Also, the possibility of Momoshiki being Shibai actually stems from the fact that this physical body didn't actually touch Boruto when he gave him the karma powers. It was actually Momoshiki's spirit that stopped time and took him to another plane called the Chakra Dimension to give him the karma. But have you ever considered the possibility that this spirit of Momoshiki is actually an imposter? Also, it's quite possible that the Momoshiki that is residing inside Boruto could actually be different from the one who is believed to have devoured a planet. It sounds confusing, yeah, but let me explain. When Momoshiki was defeated by Boruto, we see his Jogan getting activated and the ghost of the Otsutsuki later appeared in his base form to make Boruto his vessel rather than the original fuse form. Now, let's reason this way, what if this chakra dimension that Boruto was caught in could actually be the higher plane of existence that Amado was talking about? And also this Momoshiki that gave Boruto the karma was actually an imposter. Let's explain deeper. Fans of Boruto know that in order for an Otsutsuki to make someone his vessel, the victim has to be in close proximity which is quite similar to how Ishiki gave his karma to Kawaki. The only issue I can see in Boruto's case is that he received the karma after he killed Momoshiki which shouldn't be technically possible. Also, Momoshiki did not even touch Boruto prior to his death, which makes the whole stuff a lot more confusing. Looking at the timeline of when Shibai Otsutsuki became a god, we would see that it was around the time that Boruto was born. While reading chapter 75, people have actually pointed out that it was quite random for Boruto to actually say that he was born around the same time that Akebi, Amado's daughter, died. Well, I actually think that this was also most likely around the same time frame that Amado got a hold of the physical body of Shibai. And this only tells us one thing, that Shibai was already dead or more like transcended to become a god. 
and this simply means that Shibai became a god before Boruto was born. And if we actually look closely at this, we see that this is the actual key we need to prove this theory. Because I believe that Boruto was most likely a reincarnate of Shibai. And we all know that Kishimoto strongly believes in reincarnation, as seen with Endra and Ashura coming back time and time again and finally in Naruto and Sasuke. So this could be a good plot which Kishimoto can actually explore and add to Boruto's storyline. Now, Kawaki being the vessel of Ishiki was actually able to manifest his dojutsu as well as many other powers but Boruto did not inherit any major power of Momoshiki such as the Golden Rinnegan. The interesting part I must say is that Momoshiki once referred to himself as a god after giving Boruto the karma. Tonari has also said that very soon the gods would land on planet Earth. Well, some people thought that he was referring to Otsutsuki but in his conversation with Urashiki, he refers to him as a celestial being rather than a god. So we then tend to ask why would Tonari refer to somebody from his own clan as a god? And who exactly was he referring to when he said Earth would be devoured by these deities? Could one of them actually be Shibai who gave Boruto the karma while falsely appearing as Momoshiki? The possibility of Otsutsuki's spirit coming back to grant his killer with the karma has actually been debunked two times in the series after the Momoshiki incident. Also, when Kawaki outsmarted Ishiki and made him into a shadow clone, if we go by the logic of Boruto's case, Ishiki's spiritual heaven to Kawaki was used instead of the chakra plane used by Momoshiki for the sole purpose of giving him the karma. Also, when Urashiki was killed by Boruto and Naruto's father and son Rasengan, even he did not come back as a spirit to try to give them this power. This simply proves that Momoshiki's incident with Boruto was not just unusual but impossible. To further this point, it's further proven when Momoshiki keeps acting as a restorer to Boruto's organ after experiencing serious damage as he was healing him instantly instead of Boruto needing medical ninja experience. This, in my opinion, can only be done by a divine being. Also, Boruto has the knowledge of every single jutsu in the universe as well as the power to see people's fate. Another concept to actually look at is at one time, Amado linked the Otsutsuki power to Hope and that Shibai's Jogen was the star of Hope. And this is most likely Kishimoto inserting subtle hints in the storyline for readers to think about. When we read the latest chapter where Team 7 including Kawaki was attacking Boruto who had been taken over by the said Momoshiki, it feels like this was actually from Boruto's point of view. Especially the scene when Boruto was looking up to Kawaki who had blood spilling from his hands, this makes me think that Boruto most likely fought against Kawaki again and it's most likely the time when he gets the scar above his dog and eye. And although this eye was slashed and supposed to become bad, we could later see in the foreshadowing that Boruto could still use the Jogan and this is most likely due to the fact that Shibai Otsutsuki actually repaired the eye through the use of his Jogan. And this is what Momoshiki had done in the past by healing Boruto's serious injuries to revive him. So if we say that Shibai Otsutsuki is indeed possessing Boruto's body, what is the goal or purpose of that? Have you ever wondered what Momoshiki could do after taking full control of Boruto's body? Well, his initial goal was to revive himself but now it's to become Boruto himself. And it also seems like Boruto knew about all of this after the Blue Eyes prophecy was told in chapter 10 of the manga which was later fulfilled in chapter 79. Another reason for him inhabiting Boruto's body would be because he wants to consume more chakra fruits so that he can even become a stronger Otsutsuki god. And the fact that these fruits are physical objects and cannot be consumed by divine beings like Shibai makes this theory even more plausible. And his reason for doing this would be to transcend beyond his current form which actually resides in the fourth dimension. By becoming an Otsutsuki again, he could even go ahead to devour more planets to become a fifth dimension being. In the long run, I think this actually explains why Boruto is so talented. Although most people link it to him being the son of Naruto and Hinata and also having access to multiple chakra due to his genetics. However, we could link it to Shibai's DNA which is present in Boruto. Because if we recall, Tonari actually did something to him apart from helping him to awaken the Jogan. And I believe this Jogan manifestation wasn't just because of his parents who mixed the bloodline of Hamura and Hagoromo. This was actually something different, something more. And this most likely lines up to what Tonari said about the coming invasion by the Otsutsuki gods who would descend upon the earth to bring chaos. Do you agree with this theory or do you have a more crazy one? Do let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.